Uh, right now, I want to welcome to the program uh, Lana Domino, a friend of the uh, Terry family in Arizona. And Lana, thanks for coming on the show again tonight. Thanks for having me, Cam. You bet. Uh, now, we're going to talk about this fundraiser that's taking place this weekend in just a couple of minutes. But I, I, I want to ask, did you, uh, did you watch Attorney General Holder's testimony today? Yes, I did. And when Eric Holder was given the opportunity, uh, the express opportunity, he was asked, have you ever apologized to the Terry family? And he said no. Uh, he said that, uh, you know, obviously he regrets uh, what has happened. He has a lot of sympathy for the Terry family, but uh, he, he refused uh, to apologize today. What was your reaction? My reaction was it wasn't an apology. My reaction is um, he answered the question as carefully uh, as possible. At the end of the day, remember, uh, he's an attorney. He knows how to answer questions. Um, I just think that at this point, Obama made a phone call to the family to, you know, give his sympathies and his condolences. Napolitano went to the funeral. He has not sent them an apology letter. He has not called. He has not attended any funeral or memorial services. So as far as his sincerity of saying, um, I have sympathy, he has no sympathy. Um, I can only imagine their pain. I'm a father of three. I don't think he has a clue what their pain is. Because if he knew one iota of what their pain was, and he is a father of three, he would have sent a letter, he would have called, or he would have made it an attempt to go to a memorial to honor Brian Terry. The man doesn't know what the word honor means. When somebody fights for their country, you know, like Brian fought for his, um, what, did, what did his government do to him? Turn their back on him? Yeah. And that's supposed to be respectful to the Terry family? It's like a slap in the Terry's the Terry family's face when he, when he spoke today. I regret. The only thing he regrets is that Brian Terry was killed. And because Brian Terry was killed, it stopped their program in motion. And if you listen to what he later spoke about was, let's not lose focus. Let's not lose focus to, you know, the, um, let's not lose sight of the critical problem that this flawed investigation has highlighted, I think were his exact words. You know, mm. we are losing the battle to stop the flow of illegal guns. Well, you, you don't want to lose sight of the critical problem that this flawed investigation has highlighted. How about the death of two agents and 200-plus dead citizens of Mexico? That's not the highlight of this investigation being flawed. He still won't even admit that the program, um, what fatal errors or mistakes with the program? How about the inception of it? Uh, he still thinks it's a good program. Yeah, he still thinks there's errors made, but there's nothing wrong with the program. It's, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, his testimony today was just insincere. You know, it, it, it's interesting to hear you say that because one of the things that we've remarked uh, in interviews with other uh, uh, folks about Fast and Furious is if you were to read the words uh, on a piece of paper, uh, it would come off uh, in both Attorney General Holder's comments and what uh, uh, President Obama has said about Fast and Furious. Again, if you read the words, they come off as having a great deal of sympathy, concern, whatever. But if you listen to uh, the Attorney General's testimony today, if you listen to uh, what President Obama has said about Fast and Furious, there, there is no anger. There, there, there is no sorrow. There is nothing other than a sort of matter-of-fact uh, you know, let me let me get this uh, line of questioning out of the way here, and then I can go back to uh, uh, you know to what I'd rather be doing instead of testifying before Congress. And they gave him an opportunity today because, and, and the reason why uh, John Cornyn did that is because he knows he didn't attend the funeral services. He knows that he didn't send any type of apology. This is a political agenda for 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 gun control, clear as day, and the program. Well, we had some mistakes and there were some errors. The conception of the whole program itself was an error. Is there no regard for human beings and mankind? Or is that okay that human beings are going to die? That's just collateral damage. That's not how it's supposed to be. We elected these officials. We put these officials in office and they take an oath. Somebody needs to take accountability. I mean, there's, there's two dead federal agents, 200 dead citizens, and he doesn't see that as the critical problem. Let's not lose sight of the critical problem. To him, the critical sight, the critical problem is, is guns. We need to stop the flow. You're part of the reason why there is the flow. Yeah. 
And, and Grassley, Senator Grassley, made a point about the guns as well. Mm-hmm. And he said the statistics that they've released are not accurate, that they are including guns from years ago um, that were originally from Mexico in those numbers. I mean, it, it's, he, they're still manipulating this. They're still um, focused on their political agenda of implementing laws for gun control. And he could right. care less that Brian Terry is dead and that this family... You know, this Christmas, how do you think Christmas is going to be for the Terry family with no closure, no answers, no accountability, no prosecution? And he tells me, oh, I can only imagine, yeah, I, I think I can, you know, feel their pain. I'm a father of three, and, and we're not programmed to, you know, lose children. The right. blood of Brian Terry is on Eric Holder's hands. It's his, it's his responsibility. So when he says, well, I had my staff look into it. He is still responsible. He is still responsible, and he's not accepting any responsibility. He's pawning it off to other people. He's pawning At this point, we're at Lanny Brewer. It's only a matter of time. More whistleblowers are going to come forward, and it's only a matter of time. You know, Lana, you uh, you talked about uh, the Terry family and, and how they're going to be feeling uh, this holiday season, and I know that uh, this weekend in Scottsdale, you all are holding a fundraiser for the Terry family, uh, and the money raised is going to actually help uh, Brian's mom uh, attend these hearings and attend, uh, hopefully, one day the trial uh, of the uh, men responsible for his death, right? Correct. All right, so well, what can you tell us about the fundraiser? Where, when, uh, and how can folks get involved? Well, Christy Wynn Miller, co-organizer, and I are having the benefit at the Scottsdale International Auto Museum. It's located in um, Scottsdale, Arizona, and it's going to be a live auction, silent auction, raffle. There's going to be music, bar, food, and basically what it is, it's just the unity of the people. You know, the Border Patrol agents that were his peers that had a high regard for him are going to come and honor him. The people in the community, the American people, come and say thank you to Brian Terry for his service and his sacrifice and show unity to the Terry family um, and say, you know what, we, we do appreciate his service and sacrifice. Re- regardless of your pain and everything that you're going through, we stand united here with you. We are here with you together. The support of the people and the outpour of the people has been amazing for the family. That's what helps ease their pain a little bit. Um, you know, nothing's going to completely replace Brian or take that pain away. Nothing's going to fill that void. Yeah, but the support of the people it means a lot to them. It really does. It means a lot to them. You know, with no closure, no answers, it's it's going to be very difficult. His one year one year anniversary is coming up, December fifteenth. So this gives everybody an opportunity to learn who Brian Terry was, besides the border agent they got killed, and just come together, unity, and it's gonna it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a nice turnout. Well, listen, I hope that uh, it is a really great turnout for you this weekend. Uh, I'm sorry if. If there's any way that I could fly out to Arizona this weekend, I would, but I'll be there we in spirit. We would love to have you in the Terry family. I'm sure would love to meet you. Like well, I said, their, their, their gratitude for you, your coverage every day you speak out on this. And w- without people like you speaking out on this, I've said it time and time again, Cam, there's not too many people that cover this story every day. And it takes courage being in your industry because, you know, they, they do try to punish you if you, you have a radio station or you're a news anchor they, you know, like you said, you got emails hours after his death not to report on it. So, I mean, their gratitude is beyond what words can even express. Thank you is not enough. Thank you is not enough. No, it, listen, it's it's it, there are there are plenty of my colleagues who I think are are failing uh, to do their duty and their due diligence in reporting on this story. I, I just I just want to be able to cover the story the way it should be done, and uh, and that's my job. But thank you so much for that, Lan. I really appreciate that. And uh, one day. Uh, I'll get out to Arizona, and uh, I would love to meet the Terry family. I'd love to meet you as well. And and thank you again for coming on the program. Like I said, I hope that this fundraiser this weekend is a huge success for you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. And if anybody who can't attend the um, event and they would like to support the cause and honor a hero, you can go to www.rememberbryanterry.com, and we are selling T-shirts that say, Brian Terry, thank you for your sacrifice, and it's got a picture of him honor him as the hero that he is. Lana Domino, uh, again, thank you for your time tonight, and uh, l- let's talk again next week, shall we? I want to hear how the fundraiser went. Definitely. would love to, Cam. Thank right. you. Thank you so much. Lana Domino joining us this evening.